Huh? JJ, wake up! We're in the forge now! Bedrock is all around us. I don't understand how we ended up here, because we quietly fell asleep in our house. But now we are here! Come on, I'll show you everything! <laughs> Mikey, you woke me up so abruptly, I didn't expect it. I still can't believe it's really true. We're in the hip trap now. I have a laptop with me, and we can find out what really happened. Oh. Let's run to him as soon as possible, and I'll turn on the video cameras that are hanging near our house. I hope that all the data has been preserved, because that's the only way we'll know why we ended up in this place. We just ran into Mikey's house and LJ. We have an ingenious plan. While they are sleeping, we will get them out of the house together with the beds and put them in the hip ladder. I hope that we will be able to do this, because now we are carrying them in our arms. They are still sleeping. It seems they won't wake up, and that's very good. Our plan really worked because we were able to get them there, and now we can go back. Now this house will belong to us, and it's very cool. Huh? The horror? I still can't believe that the villagers did all this. They brazenly broke into our house while we were sleeping to take us to this place. I must definitely come up with something now, because we can't stay here in any case. We have to go home. Mikey, let's look at the whole area carefully now. <sighs> I have a very good clue for you. I think you will be surprised. There is dynamite in the chest, so we take it away and run as fast as possible to blow up the walls. I think we will definitely be able to do it. The main thing is that dynamite can destroy bedrock. This is a very strong material, and if dynamite can't handle it, then I'll be very upset. <laughs> Mikey, I've just lit dynamite, so let's run away. We can't stay here in any case because we might get hurt. It seems that the dynamite has exploded very powerful now, and it's time to check what really happened to the wall. I'm very upset right now because it didn't work out. Dynamite couldn't destroy bedrock. We need to use another way. Woohoo! The situation is certainly not the most pleasant because the wall seems impenetrable. Maybe now we will try to move it with the help of pistons. Then we can break at least some part. Take a pickaxe and try to hit the wall. We have no other ways left and we have to look for any opportunity. I definitely don't want to stay in this trap. Nothing is working. I am now trying to destroy the wall with a pickaxe, but all to no avail. Mikey, you're completely right. Nothing is working right now and we need to use other ways. I can't work with a pickaxe for so long because my hands get tired. Now I'm urgently taking out a piston and trying to move this wall. This is the only opportunity we will have left to destroy it. Then install it as soon as possible. There's no point in waiting for us. I hope that in the near future we will be able to move on and we will not stay in this world of bedrock. Uh-oh. It is almost impossible to destroy it. No matter what we do now, nothing works. I see that you have installed a piston and are trying to somehow move part of the wall. I doubt that it will be possible to do this. Everything seems to be unsuccessful because the piston can't cope and I can't press it for a long time either because it will soon collapse. This method does not work and it is pointless to hope that we will still be able to leave this place by such methods. At the moment, we just need to think and decide. I have an idea. I'm going to try to be reborn now, pour lava on myself and die. Then I can reincarnate again and maybe I'll be home again. It could end very badly for me, but I have to try. If this method does not work, then I will be very disappointed. The main thing is to carefully watch what I'm going to do now. Mikey, this is crazy. You understand that if you pour lava on yourself now, you may die and never come back here. I am amazed at your courage, so now I can only watch from the side how you will do it all. To be honest, I feel uneasy about the plans he has in mind. Now I see that you pour a huge amount of lava out of a bucket on yourself and it still destroys it. I wonder what happened to him now. Hmm. You won't believe it, but I've just woken up again on a bed in this forge. It really annoys me. I don't know anymore. We need to do something else urgently. I'm running and burning right now because I accidentally fell into the lava again. It's very painful, but it seems that I'm able to put out the fire now and I'm happy about it. Let's go downstairs. I see that there is some kind of room there. 
Mikey, this is very strange, and to be honest, I feel uncomfortable from such places. But now, we have no other choice, and we must use all possible means. I'm going down! I have a strange feeling right now, and I don't understand what it's related to. It feels like something is going to happen. Ah! Oh no, I can't believe my eyes. The body of a villager is lying here now. It seems that he died, and now we need to come closer and examine him more closely. I don't understand anything, because now I went up to his body and someone hit me. But there is no one in this room, most likely it seemed to me. Now I'll come up again and check. I still don't understand why these blows appear out of nowhere. Let's beat everything around now, and then we'll find out what's really going on here. I feel that something is wrong here. This is very strange. <gasps> Mikey, I'm going to try to get to his body again, and I get hit again. What's going on here anyway? This is very strange. It seems there is someone here. I'm starting to beat every part of this room. All this can end very badly for us, and I feel terrible. I don't want to stay here for long, so let's keep a close eye on everything that's going on here right now. You're hearing a strange sound near the wall right now. Take a good look. It seems that someone is starting to move from there. This is a living thigh block. He's running away from us, and we need to catch up with him urgently. I don't want him to hide, so I won't miss this opportunity. Oh! I'll catch up with him as soon as possible. Now no one will be able to stop me for sure. This is the only way to leave this place. Mikey, just please be careful. Don't take any chances. I see that you are determined, but he can be dangerous and cause you a huge amount of damage. Did this really happen? Now the thigh block jumped sharply and ended up on Mikey's head. Try to run fast now and take it off. It's very dangerous because you can't see anything. Hmm. I'm getting really sick right now because I feel very dizzy and I can't run all the time either. I can't even see where I'm going to run. And to be honest, I feel uneasy. I hope that I can somehow get rid of him. I'm starting to feel even worse and my head is spinning very fast. I'm falling now. Amazing. It seems that he is really tired now and he has started to feel dizzy. He fell but was able to crack a huge number of thigh blocks. It is very cool. I hope that Mikey will regain consciousness now and see that he really managed to do it. The block has come off his head. We urgently need to find out how it happened because I don't understand anything yet. <laughs> Please listen to me carefully. In fact, I used to be a villager, but when I died, my soul moved to the bedrock block. Now I'll set it up and I'll help you get out of this place. As you may have noticed, I can split almost any part of the wall or floor, but I definitely have to be on Mikey's head. I still can't believe we're talking to a hip block, but it seems he is not deceiving us, and it really all happens in reality. Just remember that we found the body of a villager who was lying downstairs. It turns out that now we really have the opportunity to get out of this ladder together. Then let's not waste time and get started as soon as possible. <laughs> the main thing is that our plan works and nothing prevents us. I really want to achieve my goal and get out of the world of bedrock. So Mikey, now accelerate with all your might and crash into the wall. Just please don't destroy the forge at least. Run in the other direction now. I'll guide you by your voice. You'll determine which wall to hit. It's very unusual to look at it from the outside. I'm accelerating very fast right now. It's time to hit the wall. I hope that we will be able to destroy it now with the help of the burdock block on my head. Just look, I'm really getting it done right now. I still can't believe it. It's very cool. So I'm going to accelerate again and crash into it. We'll be leaving this place soon. Mikey, you did a great job. I'm still amazed at how well you handle all this. Just please be careful. I don't want your head to get hurt. So far, I'm watching from the sidelines as you effectively destroy everything in your path. And now a small passage has already opened. I'm seeing some strange things right now. I don't understand what it is. Mikey is destroying the walls now and they are layered. It seems that he has now broken through some kind of window and we urgently need to see where it leads. I don't want to take too many risks, but we have no other choice. Oh no, I can't believe my eyes. Ugh. The villagers are here, and they have been controlling what we were doing here all the time. It seems that we will not be able to get out, and they are now sending a huge army of zombies here. We need to run and hide in the forge urgently. I don't want to get hurt because of this. Just please don't take any chances, otherwise everything may end badly for us. Mikey's gone somewhere now. It seems like he's really going to hide now, and I'm going to have to fight them one-on-one. -on -one. 
I definitely won't do anything without a weapon, so I'll try to run away from them and make a workbench for myself so that I get a sword. These zombies are very dangerous. They will surely continue to attack me further. We are in great danger. Uh oh Mikey hid in the house. He definitely won't help me anymore, so now I have to try to destroy all the zombies that are here in every possible way. To begin with, I'm going to close the window that the villagers are looking at, launching even more of our opponents here. Therefore, the moment has come to climb higher so that the zombies don't get me and make a sword for myself on the workbench. Uh-oh. I'm going to have a very difficult battle in which I can get seriously hurt, but I have no other choice. I am currently engaged in the production of weapons, and I am definitely not going to be distracted. As soon as the battle is over, I will immediately run to Mikey to check on his condition. I will be able to fight every zombie that attacks me without any problems. Such a moment has come. The main thing is not to make mistakes. Otherwise, it could all end badly. For me. So far, I'm just fighting and trying not to get distracted by anything. As soon as the last zombie is destroyed in this place, then I will calm down. There are very few left because their number is decreasing. It seems that I managed to hit the last one with a sword now. Now we urgently need to restore everything here. It amazes me that in such a short period of time, I was able to achieve such results. Zombies won't bother us anymore, and now we can do anything. Oh! You can't go through this wall in any case, so I'm going to seal it up now and continue to get out of this place together with the thigh block. Hooray! Now I have a very cool opportunity to destroy some more parts of this ladder. The main thing is not to make mistakes in any case, and still, together with the block on his head, he will come up with something else. We can't go through the walls. Let's go down to the basement now where the body of a villager lies. From there, we have every opportunity to get out as quickly as possible. It will be extremely difficult to do this, and we must understand perfectly well that we cannot take risks. So let's try to get out of this place anyway. Hmm. Start destroying every part of this room now. I am sure that we will finally be able to get back to our house without any problems. Because I miss it very much. Mikey, you're doing very well. Don't stop. I made a huge tunnel and honestly did not expect that in such a short period of time we would still be able to get out of this place. Now we just go upstairs and now we will find ourselves in a completely different place. You can't imagine how my mood is getting better right now. The feeling that we will finally go home soon does not leave me, but the main thing is not to take risks. Yeah. Mikey, we're upstairs now. I'm looking closely at our house. There are two villagers standing there. Let's try to go there as soon as possible now. Now the block will distract the villagers and we are urgently exploring our house. We need to take up arms in order to eliminate these terrible criminals. They must be punished. I'm very angry right now. It seems that the bedrock block is now able to distract the villagers. They ran away from home, so the moment has come to want to get there as soon as possible and go up to the second floor. I hope they didn't take away the weapons that we kept in the chests. <laughs> At the moment, everything seems to be going well for us, and therefore we should hurry up. I definitely don't want to risk Block's life. I totally agree with you. Now we are very close to finally getting justice. I take out the machine gun from the chest that I've been wanting to use for so long. The villagers will regret very much that they contacted us and must be punished. Let's run outside soon. We must now carefully look at where they but are. But I don't see where they've gone now. I don't understand either. It seems they are near the ramp and we need to run there. Oh! If they are torturing the block now, then it is very bad and we will have to punish me. I have a huge ax that I can do whatever I want. I am ready to do everything possible to destroy them. And now no one will stop me for sure. The moment has come to destroy the villagers. You made a very deep mistake when you tried to steal us out of the house at night. But now let go of the block and then we won't torment you for long. Now you are definitely not tenants because we have the most powerful weapon. I'll try to do my best. So Mikey, swing the ax now and I'll start shooting. It seems that we are doing well to defeat them. Huh? The block is now very happy that we were able to release it, but nothing ends there. 
We must now make sure that he moves into the body, and let's still see what kind of body can be used to make it much better for him to live in this world. I really want to help him now because before that he was a good villager. Mikey, I think I'm starting to figure out how we can do this. Now take a good look, because some businessman is sitting here unconscious. Therefore, we are now waiting for the block to move into his body and everything will be fine. I still can't believe that we are actually able to do this. He is very glad that we helped him a lot. Let's run back home now. I see that he was very rich and probably had a lot of money. I still can't believe it, but I think I'm starting to guess. He wants to give us a huge reward now. I am extremely happy about this, so let's not miss this opportunity now and take everything he gives us. It is very cool. Mikey, we're getting a lot of emeralds and money from him right now. Diamonds have also appeared in our hands now. I am very glad that we were able to escape and are now near our house. I suggest you have some fun and relax. That's how our incredible adventure ended. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel, like it, and leave your comments.